Hey, what's up guys? Technology Brad here. Today I got to, uh, wanted to do a little demo for you, maybe a little review on this uh, new RSS reader that came out over the weekend. This is called uh, a Reader for iPad. It's uh, number one in the App Store right now. Uh, any different category, this is it, number one. Um, so go ahead and take a look at it in the App Store, you can see. Um, I do already have it installed. I believe it is $4.99. Um, it, this is a Google Reader client. So this is for your RSS feeds, but this is for a Google Reader. It syncs right with your Google Reader. Um, you can see the feature list here. I mean, you guys, if you're watching this, you got an iPad, so you can go check out the feature list here. Um, but uh, we're, we're going to go ahead and show it to you before you uh, dole out your $4.99 for it. Go ahead and check it out. As you can see, I've already got mine down here in the dock. This is my new reader um, that I'm checking out on my daily feeds. Um, <clears throat> I uh, actually got this for uh, the iPad, and they have another one here for the iPad or the iPhone, which I'll show you in just a second as well. So let's go ahead and get the uh, reader open real quick. And uh, whenever you open it up the first time, you are gonna, you know, it's gonna ask you for your account information, you know, your Google. Uh, reader information and then it's going to op open you up to this screen here and it just kind of lays out your different feeds um, just in one page here. I always like to do unread that way I can go ahead and get all my information. So we're going to go ahead and show you that real quick and as soon as you pull it up here it's got you know basically all your unread feeds. Um, you've got uh, an option over here you can share or unshare it. Uh, you can switch to the timeline which is going to give you instead of it being um, you know, uh, based on like, here's your all your Engadget, here's all my Daily Thunder, here's all my 1UP um, RSS, here is, you know, my different, here's Joystick, um, the unofficial Apple web blog. I always like to do timeline because kind of like, you know, Twitter, you know, or you just get the stories basically as they, you know, show up on the web. And uh, I always like to start at the bottom. Um, up here, you can also, if you just want to go, the, it's got a couple different buttons over here for you. You know, that one is, uh, uh, I'm not sure what that one does. I don't remember. Uh, this this one is for unread, and then this one is for if you've starred any. Um, so we're going to go and stick with unread here. And go and scroll to the bottom, and I'm going to open this up. So right here, this gives you a really nice um, layout. You know, it populates right in there for you. It's pretty much a standard format. Um, you can scroll the article up and down if you want to continue reading it. You can click here. It's going to bring up the web page for you. Um, so you can see the full article, everything in line there. I do believe you can also use a couple different, um, if you don't want to look at the whole page, you can probably open it up in Google Reader, I believe, uh, which we'll check that out in a minute as well. Um, if you want to, you know, switch articles, real simple, you can um, just, I guess I keep picking up the iPad here, sorry about that. You can just hit this up arrow, and it's going to take you right to the next uh, article. You can go ahead and read it, scroll up, scroll down. If you want to get back to your list, you can just drag it all the way over. you still got quick access to your entire, you know, timeline feed here. Go right back into your story, read it. Um, you can even pull it down all the way if you want to go up you can just pull the whole article down goes to your next article pull it down goes back down to that article or you can just use the buttons over here on the sidebar uh, really easy you can also do this in landscape mode and uh, let me move my phone out of the way here you can also do this in landscape mode and you have your basically your timeline on the left and your article on the right it works really well both ways depending on how you want to read it. if you want to read it more like a, like you're holding a magazine or if you want to read it with you know kind of like the email style format um, you can really you can do it either way any way you want you still have all your controls over here you got your article you got your list it just it works really well it's really functional it has uh, this is actually the way I was reading my newsreader app sideways but this one is so good in portrait mode that I find myself doing this now and just a quick one tap up to the next article really easy really simple um, works really really well um, so I, I'm really happy with this guys it syncs to your Google Reader um, so everything you know I've got right now 42 uh, unread items here if I, down here in the bottom there's a refresh button and you'll notice right here it's gonna say sync and then after it does that well, there's none to sync right now, but it would also it would also cache them for you for all, offline reading as well. Um, 
So I forgot, uh, let's go into the settings real quick. Let me find them. I haven't uh, organized my dashboard yet. So let's see if we can go here. Here's all the different options for your reader. You've got a services panel. You can turn all these on or off here, um, which I'll go back into the thing and show you how to do that too. Um, you can have, uh, th these are all your different accounts. I got my Twitter in there. You can have your read it later, Instapaper, Pinboard, Delicious, uh, whatever you want. You can tell it to sync uh, on and off at the start. Um, you can tell how long for unread items, start items, shared items, how long to keep read items. If you want to download read items or not, uh, image caching, you know, same, you just tell it whatever you want it to do, it'll do it. Um, on the home screen, you can have a badge for your unread, and it'll tell you how many you know items that you have unread in there. And uh, for opening the links, you can have it do um, original page. You can have it do the Instapaper mobilizer or the Google mobilizer. So let's go ahead and try Instapaper, and we'll show you that in a minute. And then the order the unread items by descending or ascending. I kind of like ascending. Let's try that. A little bit different. So let's go ahead and go back into the reader. And here you can see it's syncing, and now it's caching. And we picked up another unread item. So let's go ahead and go into there. And this time now it's got ascending for me. So it's got oldest at the top, newest at the bottom. You can see the times over here. So let's go ahead and open up a new article here. Now at the top, if you want to go ahead, you can star this post. You can unstar it, real simple. You can tap it to make it unread. It's going to Anytime you bring it up, it's going to auto automatically make it red. So if you want to come back to it later, you can star it. Or if you'd rather just have it unread, you can just make it unread real easy. Again, here you can do the sharing or not sharing. And then over here, you've got a whole uh, bunch of different stuff. You can make a note. This is how you make a note. Real simple. Save it. Done. Um, you can also, you know, delicious, pinboard, instapaper, read it later, Twitter, Safari, copy link, view the original, uh, mobilizer, mail the article, mail the link. Uh, if you want to do Twitter, you can actually put the title and the link and then just real simple, bam. Now you can share that with all your friends if you really like that article. Um, so let's go ahead and check out the, uh, you can see this is talking about Microsoft Connect. Um, let's go ahead and check out the, it, we changed it over to, I believe it was Instapaper, didn't we? That one doesn't have any more. So let's go to a longer article. Let's see if we can find one. Here you go. That one doesn't have any more. Here, this one's got a more button. Let's click more on that one. And it's going to bring me into the Instapaper version of the article there wasn't much to that one but that you kinda get the idea there's one from Gizmodo we can do the same thing just by tapping that arrow it's gonna bring us to the instapaper version and there you go go back to the main still got your timeline go back all the way to the front and another thing that's really cool let me show you Let's bring up the iPhone here. And uh, I've, I downloaded, this is a separate app for the iPhone called Reader, right there. Uh, this one I believe is $2.99, so for the both of them it's going to be about 8 bucks. Uh, but it's the same thing on your iPhone, and since it keeps it synced with uh, Google, um, it makes it really functional. You can have all your feeds on the go. It's kind of the same thing, streamlined format for your iPhone. Go ahead and click on Unread. I'll try and get that a little closer for you guys. And then you've got your timeline, all kind of all the same, still options. Go ahead and open this up. Going to get your article here. Um, if you want to read more on the phone, you're going to be doing the read more, quite a bit more than you will on the iPad. I've got the setup for the Instapaper version. There you go. Go back to it really quickly. And this one, you can pull it up and down just the same way and it's also got arrows at the bottom for up and down from you know post to post and um, really works well together guys if you're taking your stuff on the go uh, iPad iPhone reader 499 299 thanks so much for watching guys I hope this video helped you guys make your decision if you're gonna go ahead and get the uh, reader for the iPad 
uh, technologybrat.com, twitter.com slash technologybrat, and uh, take it easy, guys.